name is Scott Jacobs, and this is my story. I was recognized early in life as an artist. The first thing I did was pencil sketches. It was mostly architectural drawings and things like that. Try to come up with my own style. When I turned 19, I became an art gallery owner. And then over the next few years, it actually turned into three different art galleries in New Jersey. And we were one of the biggest art gallery chains in the area. And I did that for about 25 years. After having art galleries for a number of years, I started getting a little bored. I wanted to do something a little different that excited me because it wasn't a challenge anymore. My wife Sharon motivated me to start painting. It's missing something. I'm done. Leaves? Yeah. I'm done. It's done. She gave me some canvases, paintbrushes, and different things to start painting again, so I started dabbling with it. When I started getting the painting on canvas, I came up with the name Escotite which was E-S-C-O-T-E-T-E -T -E -T -E with a hyphen on the last E. And the reason I did that was because when people came into my art galleries, I wanted their honest opinion what they thought of my work. So I would go over to them and stand in front of one of my paintings and say, what do you think? This is a new artist we're carrying, Escotite. And what people loved was the photorealism work that I did. Every time they looked at a photorealism painting, I never got a negative comment. So I painted what people loved and that was photorealism. We have signs in our booths that actually say, these are not photographs. I met my wife, Sharon, in 1983, and she was a beautiful girl. And we dated for a few years, and then we got married in 1985 and decided to do it in Belgium, in the ruins of an old cathedral. And when she walked out, I couldn't even talk that day. When we were doing our vows, I got all choked up. I couldn't say my words. It was unbelievable, and that was the first time it ever happened to me. And so that day, I knew I made the right decision, and that was the love of my life. I've painted many different subjects in my life. One of the things I loved painting was celebrities. I did portraits for people like Kathy Ireland, Kim Alexis, Joan London, the late Malcolm Forbes, just to name a few. The inspirations in my life dictate what I paint. My inspiration comes from my family. My wife Sharon and I have two beautiful daughters, Olivia and Alexa. I love cars. I've been in the cars my whole life. That's why I paint cars. I've been the official licensed artist for Chevrolet, the only one in the world. I've also worked with Richard and Kyle Petty. Marilyn Monroe Estate, Elvis Presley Estate, and Harley Davidson, just to name a few. Motorcycles are a big part of my life. My whole family's gotten involved. Even Olivia got her first bike. We've been riding together for years. It was a beautiful day. On a Sunday morning, we'll get out on our bikes and we'll try to find some really neat place to go have breakfast or lunch. My first attempts at painting motorcycles were back in 1993. The first two pieces I did, Fat Boy and Live to Ride, were recognized immediately by the heads of Harley Davidson. Within 60 days, the chairman of the board of Harley Davidson, having seen these paintings, brought me on board as the first ever licensed Harley Davidson artist. Tell me about the passion for your art. Well, I've, been, I've been riding motorcycles since the 70s. And um, Harley's, you know, American bike, it's a, it's a piece of rolling sculpture, it's a piece of American history. It's just, I think they're the prettiest bike out there. I mean, there's such a history behind the motorcycles that Harley Davidson has made. Scott Jacobs will sign posters and serographs this evening from 6.30 till 8. One of the ways I promote my work is to bring it to the big rallies like Sturgis every year and Daytona. Sturgis is always our favorite. And we actually set up booths and uh, we'll go into one of the big hotels, we'll hang all the artwork up in there, and we'll have it all hanging there during dinner so people can come over and talk to us about it. At the Sturgis Rally, we'll have a booth downtown sitting on the corner where people can come in and actually watch me paint. It's comical, though, because I had this one guy that came up to me, standing behind me, he's eating potato chips, and he goes, hey, man, you, you the artist? And I said, no. He said, not me. 
I said, he, he just went to the restroom. And I turned to another guy standing in the booth, and I said, hey, Ron, what color is number 10? The guy actually bent over. He looked down at the painting, and he was looking for the numbers. And he talked to his wife. Oh, I told you these were too good. These are color by numbers. True story. Mama, she has taught me well, told me when I was young. In the late 90s, Adam Berman of Epicenter Films contacted me about being a part of a movie called Biker Dreams, which was going to be a story of a couple traveling from Washington State to Sturgis, and they wanted to use me playing myself in the movie. So they interviewed me, and they did a lot of footage of me painting and things like that. And then at the premiere of the movie, he said, you're going to be real excited. And I said, why? And he says, well, you just wait. You're going to really love the opening. So at the premiere, the opening starts, and it starts with my hand, my hand dipping paint, and they're following, the camera is following my hand from my paint table up to the canvas and back, and back and forth. And then after that, they actually zoom out so you can see that I'm actually working on a painting. And then they started showing all these you know, paintings that were already finished so you could see there were paintings and not actual photographs. It was exciting. I mean, we were screaming because they told us at the opening, if you like what you see, make sure you scream. So my wife was like, oh my God, she's jumping up and down. It was really, really exciting time for us. If you come to our home, you'll see there's Harley art hanging everywhere. The only room it wasn't in was the dining room. So one day Sharon says to me, I want to hang some art in there. I was at a gallery and I saw some wine still lifes that I like to hang in there. And I said to her, I said, you can't hang another artist's work in there. Let me paint some. She says, oh, no, you'll never have time to do it. And I made time to do it. So I did these two paintings, Taking a Breather and Delicious, and we hung them there. We actually took them out to a show shortly after to see what the public thought about them. The reaction was unbelievable right from the start. I've been painting them ever since. Painting has been my whole life. But on the road to where I am today, I stopped a few places. <laughs> Bodybuilding was one of them. I actually became Mr. Teenage New Jersey back in 1976. I even tried skydiving. Oh my God, what a blast. I was just so happy jumping out of that plane. Until that shoot went, it cut off all the circulation and I blacked out. Painting is my true passion. It's been good to me and my family. I'm thrilled that I have such a huge following. That in itself is my inspiration.